Welcome back to Break Hard Orchard. We're getting ready to start today on finishing the rafters, the timber rafters in the bedrooms. Last week we managed to get one of those cut and installed. I think we've cut trail on that. We've got the procedure down pat. I've already taken all the measurements that I need for the next four. I'm going to go ahead and start working on these. Got Labor Day coming up, so it's a three day weekend. I think we have plenty of time to get this knocked out and start working on putting some Tyvek up on the side. <laughs> exit port on the planter will clog up from time to time, especially if the wood's at all damp. So you have to stop and clean it out. It's easy to lose focus on what you're doing, especially when you get tired and it's monotonous. But you have to stay focused on safety at all times. Uh, are you okay? Nope. <gasps> oh my god, babe. Where? My fingertip. No cuts. Glove took it. It hurt. <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I'm annoyed. I'm impatient. Damn. That would have sucked. Just a minor little blood blister. Wow. Well, thank you, Glove. Well, there's your safety message. Don't turn it on with your hand on the bottom of it. It's stupid. Wear gloves. Wear gloves. We're trying to get some of these timbers prepped so that we can get them all up one after the other once we get the get in the excavator and start going. I've gone ahead and marked this first one. We went ahead and planed these first two pieces on both sides. That one's been planed on one side. We're gonna get these first two cut and prepped and moved over a bit and then make sure we get the, the other one planed out. When we first started unstacking them, we had taken the cover off this wood about a week ago and we have had a lot of rain this last week. With the heat, almost immediately, any wood that gets wet is gonna start growing a little bit of mold or mildew. So we gave it a quick spray to kill anything that was on it, let it dry, and planed everything off. Now I'm getting ready to make the cuts here. I've got the template already used on this one. I've got the bird's mouth marked. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and get it ready. You should buy a bear in his blade. Yeah, definitely gonna get him a new blade. It's a little shallow, but I want it to be a little shallow. I didn't want to be too deep.
we've got a couple of the timbers cut for this room and I've gone ahead and prepped the pocket with some sip seal quite a bit of it I've sealed up the seam so that when that timber gets in there it's gonna press against it it's gonna create a watertight seal between the timber and the sips panel the OSB skin on the outside of the sips panel and it's also going to sit, help seal that seam between the two sips panels on the outside. We're getting ready to clip it up and bring it up here and put it over. And it's getting a little long in the day, but we've got two timbers completely set up. We can get those in and then we can probably get a third. Uh, my wife just reminded me that I'm doing a dry run first just to make sure that I can reach in there. As usual, she's right. come your way just a little bit. Tiny bit, yeah. And see, there's a gap right here. But that's because that's not, if you straighten that out, that gap is going to disappear. I think you can move from there. I know, I think you should move it from there. If you straighten this out, it'll, it'll settle, right? Yeah, I'm just worried about putting force against the wall. I don't think so. If you just set it down where it needs to be.
you hold it from the metal piece, right? Yep. Much of a heavy lift is dangerous. Sometimes you just have to stop and say, no, we're not going to proceed forward until there's a change. I insisted that Jafana get down and move the ladder because I just did not like having her head between the thumb and the wall if I had to back up a little bit. Right there. 
knock the wall down. Well, how about that? Not a bad start. We didn't get all five done, but we do have three of them up here now. We worked out the couple of bugs that I created for myself. I think tomorrow I'm gonna come in here and we are gonna fly. That wood stack is getting smaller. By the end of the weekend, it's gonna be gone. That is great feeling.